YouTube, welcome back. And if you've been keeping up with the uh, Smoke Unique Hot Vapor Car, here it is. Let me get you up to speed of where we're at now. All right, so we used our lift to pull the engine off the trailer. Trailer went out. Oh, perfect. Okay, and then. All right, we're gonna get started. Drain fluids, undo battery, and see what trouble we get into. We're gonna get into some trouble. We'll just, let's just get her in the air and drain it from below. Pulling the engine out. So we just basically drained all the fluids, took out the battery, and started unbolting everything up, and we lifted the car off of the engine. Bolt. Our starting one. It's a voltage regulator, and I'm gonna see if. Do you know what it is? Yeah, a voltage okay. regulator. No, I mean like, but you know exactly oh, the no. part number and everything. No. You know where I'm gonna go. Either. I don't know how it is for you, but right now for me, it's like you couldn't possibly get a better height. So Locked what do we off. have left? We've got to detach the transmission from the body. And starter? Oh yes, yeah, so we got starter, we've got shift linkage, we've got clutch cable. And um, it's pretty much how cool it is. It's pretty much everything is out of the way. Motor mount in the front. Yeah. Oh my god, it's like it's so simple. I it, love working on these versus modern cars, man. It, it will be out in just a little bit. Well, it will. Thank you. Stay tuned. We pull the axles out. Everything on the top is undone. Pretty straightforward. Besides a lot of corrosion from just sitting in Daytona Beach, Florida for a long time, and we don't want to break anything. So now we're going to go ahead and pull the axles and drop the engine and transmission down from the bottom of it the way that the factory did it. So let's get to it. Update. Oh. Everything, everything on the top is all done. Fake took care of the starter, which kicked my butt last time. Big hands. Ow. And so she got all that done. Exhaust is off. even done. Yep. yep. Off, checklist. Checklist. Yep. You see our board. Checklist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> checklist. Uh, we disconnected all the shift linkage, so the transmission is good to come out. Yep. So I, um, I have the suspension now free. Many bolts on Chrysler just didn't want this to come off. I know. I think but, that, I but think that I have more too. Right. I think it's time. It's time. We're, uh, and we'll take it slow, but we haven't broken anything and we haven't been frustrated. So it's a good Sunday. It is a good Sunday. Go up slowly. Go up slowly. Okay. Good. 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 Okay, good. Let's stop right there and assess. Yes. Yeah! And that's how you pull an engine out. Okay, so what we're doing today is we're swapping all of the parts over from this engine over to the hot vapor engine. So tranny's coming off now, it's going over there. We'll pull off the flex plate from that one and just get everything swapped over back and forth. Just in case there was any... Uh... Oh, look. What, what, what? Smokey was doing the kind of one like the factory one. Oh! You see the little bracket that, yeah. that, that Smokey made? Yeah! He really did keep it true to form. That was the prototype. 
they could just take everything. Are you swapping this over right now? I'm taking this off. Yeah. Um, do in you, the in the in the pictures, it doesn't have one. So I'm not gonna put one back on because in the pictures, it, it doesn't have one on there. Not even not even just the lower. I need to look at the pictures about the lower. I know the upper's not there. You guys, this stresses me out. Oh, I, I know. Can't. You, 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 oh, they can see some, but. They can see, uh, Okay, you guys, <laughs> forgive how sunburnt and tired I look right now. I was at the swap meet um, in the blazing heat for a very long time looking for a 7M yesterday, but Danny and I, oh, I get stressed out if I see timing covers left exposed. And uh, so I'm just, I'm trying to, Danny, hear me out. I'm trying to convince him to put at least one of the timing covers on. But uh, in the video, Smokey didn't have the upper one on. So that's what we're talking about right now. So we have the, the upper and the lower. And the and then there's a, the lower is like a two piece lower. It's kind of interesting. Mm -hmm. So okay. actually, let's let me let me oh, yeah. let's show people, Danny. Yeah. All right, let's see, Danny. So so this is what we're talking about. A little more light. So this is what we're talking about, and we have d different opinions, which are both good, <laughs> good opinions and both good ways to think. Is we always want to cover on. Because you put your finger in there, something gets caught. If you're driving, a rock can get up in there and catch a belt. So there's there's. There's a reason for this to be on, but Smokey didn't have it on. So if you look at Dino Days, the video, you can see this engine in the Plymouth running and idling and running, and there's no cover on it. Gotcha. Yes, and it, Popular Mechanics, I believe, when they did their article on it, it doesn't have it on either. So it's a three-piece cover. So here's one piece right here. Yep. That just pops off. Yeah. Which this is yep. probably this is probably pretty rare to even find one of these. Honestly, yeah, yeah, for the tensioner, so you can yep. tension it on the car and then here's the lower half yeah then there's a couple of bolts that hold the upper as well so i, I know the, the upper most definitely is not going to go on because it, it wasn't on it just wasn't this is never going to be you know it's going to be pretty much we're going to start it run it drive it and walk his footsteps but it's never going to be out in the public so. and the upper was probably off because he had that adjustable cam gear on there so he needed to mm -hmm. be able to adjust it on the fly and this even, lower one doesn't impede anything no and if it's there i'm gonna look at the pictures a little more we got pictures from the guy from sweden the photographer and if i can see it then we'll, we'll put it on if it was on also in the timing if anybody noticed and then now they're going to go oh my gosh i might have to go back and watch your video or watch our video the timing marks are a little bit different than what the factory marks are. But you have to go watch a video to go find out why are the marks at a different spot and what was he doing. So you have to go watch previous videos because um, we, we did talk about that on the other video. You better put the link right here for people. Oh, maybe. okay, so the link's gonna be up there for, for, <laughs> for that. And I, I hope to do it. If not, go look at Faye's videos and go look at my videos. Or and, link in the description. <laughs> or look in the link in the description. I should be doing that as well. Yeah, and I have a whole playlist actually. I made a, I made a playlist on my YouTube channel just of, of all the videos and I just put them all together. So make it really easy of the smoky videos. So. So, we, so we have to get you this to get this mount. Because this mount needs to be transferred from this engine yep. over to the smoky engine. Yep. And that's basically what we're doing. There's a couple of components. The oil fittings. We saw the oil fittings on this side. How they're a little bit different to fit the modifications on the car. Right. Because he has an extra, an aftermarket oil pressure gauge. Right. So he has the fittings. And what he did when he, when he pulled this engine back in the car and he pulled the hot vapor out, he took those fittings and put them back on this engine so that he wouldn't have to mess with the car. As opposed to just yanking everything out, which was what was going to happen. They were about to pull all the gauges all out. So fortunately, the fittings were left on this motor and the gauges were left there. And now we have the original engine, so it's all going to match. And it's, it's kind of neat. It's kind of historic and, and fun. And JD, will you point out that bracket that you saw that he had sort of mimicked? This bracket on the hot vapor engine, he um, made another bracket just like it, but to fit his. And now we see that one. So he was mimicking that bracket. You see how it holds one line. And there's a little bracket in the standoff. He had a little nylon piece here. And then Faye brought this little assortment and that's actually pretty cool. I like it. So now it, it actually is really cool. And then he has another one here. So he tried to make this just like a factory one. But on a factory one, we have three lines. Because we have fuel. Oh, right. Yes. We have fuel going into the carburetor with this filters. You can see all these lines. Well, this is all factory 1983 Chrysler. So everything comes up and connects right here on the car. It still has the original line. Oh yeah, yep, 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 yep. But it no longer has the, the return line. So this is fuel going in. 
to our fuel pump. So it's high actually volume. a high volume. Yes. Fuel pump. Interesting. You'd think there'd be a lot of fuel going in there then. The, I would I would think so. But it's actually a high volume pump for this but little motor. But to get good fuel economy. Mm-hmm. And yet we're putting in more. What did we learn from the jets? It seems like they were they were machined in a, in a sense to make more fuel. For the process to work, they need fuel. So high volume fuel pump. We know that for a fact. Here's the two lines. He kept the little brackets. It all looks kind of cool the way he has them all bent. Now from here forward, he had to redo this because it has a General Motors carburetor. But he kept everything looking original. Yeah, so, and I saw another one of these at the swap meet, Danny, and I almost bought it. Just for, just to hang? Just to have it. Just yeah, to, just, I didn't. Just to hang. They're, they're cool. And they're, they're, you know, there's a lot of people, a lot of controversy, but. So here's the line. I even like his factory little clamp, you know, so. Oh, I hate those Odegaard clamps. I, yeah. <laughs> But I have a kit of them, so if we need to replace them and make it look factory, we can. Oh, I have well. the tool, the actual tool, and a and a package of those things, so I can bring those over. Okay, well then we, we might, because it is a little loose. It's, yeah, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, we want to, I know, we don't I've always, thing on fire. <laughs> yeah, I've always put in fuel from here on the run stand, and we've never had a leak, but it is time. I mean, we don't want to catch this car on fire. Right? <laughs> that wouldn't yeah. be good. No. Nope. All he, right, well, let's continue yeah. on. Wait, anything else you want to point out? Um, This here... Oh. is a, a little t temperature probe, a little a thermocoupler in a sense, oh, right yeah. in the oh, turbo. Oh, 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 yeah. And he left this. Um, one of the little screws is missing. So I don't know if at one time he had another gauge inside to tell us the, the temperature oh. from inside the car or if this was when it was on the dyno. But I left it alone because it's, it was on there and we're going to leave it alone. So I think we're good to go. All right, cool. Let's Let's get back. Whoops. Yep, I go. almost tripped over that. Um, so I'm right now working on getting the transmission off, uh, which is going to be a little difficult because the stands are on the ground here, but we'll lift it up in just a second. So once we do that, we can inspect the clutch and see if we need to replace anything. Um, mm -hmm. We do have a little bit of a seep over here. We're, so we're thinking about what we're going to do with that. We might also just leave it be. A, a, um, thing, a thing to note just from filling is it or what? the silicone that's around this back. So yeah. by the silicone that's been around in, in this back, you can even see it looks like two layers or you can tell, you know. Yeah, it's, like in between those two, oh yeah. I know weird. by driving the car, the gear ratio has been changed. Oh. So we know that to go with the stories as well, but he has been in the transmission. Oh. I'm kind of wanting to get this apart and go in it just to look, but well, we're, not, we're not doing any of that. We're, we're gonna not, we're it. not? Okay, okay, Oh, okay. Uh, yes, yes, we're not gonna, you know. Sorry. If we see some reason, there, there's Sometimes some reason. Sometimes I'm a bad influence. <laughs> when, I, when I drove the car, it shifted fine. It was di um, difficult to drive. Taking off in first is like taking off in second or third. It has so much torque. This motor doesn't have that torque that that one does. Oh, I see. So this is geared. He oh, geared it for the hot vapor. Yes. When I took off from the light, I thought everybody was going to, you know, you know, everybody was you know, giving me the you're number one kind of thing because I, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't moving fast enough. Um, oh. it, it takes a while to get going with this engine. It just does not pick up very, very, you know, very good. Now, once you get going and go through the gears, you're flying, but it doesn't go very fast. Uh, this engine doesn't have enough torque for this gear ratio. So I'm really excited about that because that's, it, you know, it's, it's not just the engine. It's also the gear ratio, the size of the tire. It's it's a whole package. The the, the miles per gallon was not just the engine. It's it's everything. It, you know, it's the transmission, the gear ratio, the tire, I mean, everything. So. Well, all right, all right. so are we going to repair this leak or just leave it as is? I want it's to. It's a seep. It's just I'll, a little seep. It's a little seep. And it's been sitting for many, many years. Yeah, so I mean, we could just take off just, I mean, we could just take off just this back housing and just clean and it up and re-silicone it. I knew, it. I knew you were going to say that. I'm, what, what, I'm, am I a bad influence? I'm a bad well, influence. no, you're not a bad influence. You're actually a good influence because there's some things that I would just kind of leave as, you know, alone. Um, there's no hurry to get this thing done to just have it leak all the time. So we may, I knew, I knew. I I'm, almost, ta I'm taking it off, Danny. Yeah. I'm taking it off. <laughs> I almost, I almost need your influence because I would just say, let's just brake clean it and put it in. But why, why? I mean, here's the thing. We could do that too. And maybe just like from getting it hot, it'll expand a little bit. But that's silicone though. That's not an actual seal. No, and seal. in the car, you can get to this cover. Yes, yes. That's why me, I would kind of like, you know what? Let's just brake clean and put it in. If it leaks, we can get to the cover from just pulled off a single tire. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah so. totally. Well, yeah, let's we get, don't, let's we don't get inside it. Crazy good. Crazy good, yeah, all right. Yes. Uh, I need a 19 millimeter wrench. All crazy good. Oh, weird sizes. 
weird sizes. Some American, some metric, and some just weird. Yep. All kinds of weird stuff. All kinds of. Okay, good. Now that I got that loose. Any of the rest of the stuff on the front. Okay. Excellent. All right. So then, actually, now that you say that, I'm ready to lift up because everything else, aside from this, is going to be um, is going to be a bottom grabber. Okay. Uh, oh, so, so here we have our timing mark. We're just going to put a little mark. Just, yeah, just to, you know, who knows how how Smokey put it on. While you're doing that, I have a perfect access to now my oil filter, which I needed to get perfect. off anyway. Let's just so. make sure it's settled. We just show me that clutch. We want to see. We want to see what you look like. I know I should be wearing gloves, but you oh, know yeah. what, you guys? You cannot see how hot it is today. These are people. We don't go into your shop today. What to do? I knew it was gonna be American. Yeah, it's 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 hard. I can't really tell. Like this one. I figure anything that he put on, it's American. Anything that Crash would put on, who knows? Is that one different than the rest of them? They all look the same. I don't understand. Oh, it has an eyes and clutch. Yeah. Toyota. Is I it? mean, it's not Toyota, but that's to that's that's um that's a Japanese. Oh, we got this dowel right here. Yep. Yeah, look, Eisen pressure plate, Eisen clutch oh. disc. Oh, we need to replace this. Oh, oh we're doing a clutch job. Oh my God, the clutch, oh don't, the clutch don't look so bad. It's weird is that it's not that old and it still has the grooves, but man, oh man, you think you were looking at, at where we've got to resurface this. I got to resurface in. that and yeah. I got to get a clutch, a pressure plate. Danny. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it. I mean, it's you can't get mad at knowledge. This is okay. And I drove it, and it didn't feel like it chattered or anything when I re released the clutch. It was yep. <laughs> that's all she wrote. Batteries on the last, but I know it's it's the funny. last one. Wow. Well, well, you want we'll that? resonant frequency? Actually, give me one of those so we can hammer it without it, it without it okay. falling off. Thank you. Oh, there it goes. Oh, is it going right away? There, there oh, it goes. okay, perfect. There it goes. All right. That's not the stock. Are you gonna tell me it's not stock? Well, I don't know, but it sure is. Has a lot of mass. Yeah. Has a lot that of inertia. That is not a lightweight flywheel. No, it has a lot of inertia. I would not be looking at all the, all the Loctite he put on the back. Yeah. He put so much freaking Loctite that. Uh, yeah. Well, I'm sure it wasn't him. His whoever his assistant helper was, whoever. But uh, that seems like a lot of mass. Yeah. Uh, okay, this is going to work. And, right. we'll get re and these bolts are too, we gotta clean them all off. Yeah. Okay, little update. We got the transmission off, and we're about to. We have everything on the front off, everything on the side off. And this is falling off, but it makes it easier. <laughs> we make it, it's, well, I, well, thank you for setting it up, Danny. That's yeah. great. I mean, yeah. I, I, so, I meant to do that.